Let's talk about my least favorite horror books. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books and welcome back to another episode of Zachtober. Uh, I think it was last week or maybe the week prior where I had discussed my favorite horror books. Um, not by Stephen King. And what I've got for you today is my least favorite horror books. I don't have them ranked or anything. These books might work for other people. They just really didn't work for me. Um, so don't let that kind of turn you off from these books. They just are ones that I just didn't like. So, uh, yeah, we will uh, get into this list. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's get started. All right, so obviously for this to count, you ha I had to have finished the book. There's a couple that I DNF'd that would have made the list, but since I did not finish them, they're not here. So starting off with the fifth book, The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. Uh, this is one of the most iconic horror books that people talk about, one of the best haunted house books that people talk about. Uh, Danielle and I both gave it three stars, I believe. Um, her for different reasons than me. Um, I just couldn't get into the story. Um, at the beginning, it kind of made sense. You're meeting your team, your group, and then at some point, about halfway to three quarters of the way through, like a whole bunch of weird, mysterious things just kind of happen at once, and I got off track. I couldn't figure out who I was following, what was going on, and I just ended up not liking the story that much. So... I would say The Haunting of Hell House by Shirley Jackson is in the bottom of my horror books because I just didn't really enjoy it. So, there you go. Alright, the next one is A House at the Bottom of a Lake by Josh Mallerman. Uh, this book just had almost nothing memorable about it, uh, in my honest opinion. Um, there's literally only one thing that was memorable about this book, and it was literally the couple literally doing it in the house at the bottom of a lake and like the sperm like floating up past their heads only thing that's memorable about this book in my opinion um, it's just weird it didn't make a whole lot of sense uh, this was one that I thought was gonna do really well for me a the cover looks really cool and it's by Josh Mallerman too and that's someone who's hit a lot of home runs for me and that's you know it's unfortunate that this one just didn't work for me uh, maybe if I do a reread of this maybe it'll change my mind but just the characters seem dull to me so there you have A House at the Bottom of the Lake by Josh Mailerman. All right, the next one up is another one that is a very popular horror book. It just really didn't work out for me. I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. Uh, I just, it just didn't work. Um, it's hard for me to put into words why it didn't, it just didn't click for me. It just didn't, it just didn't work. Um, I went into this expect having high hopes because I love the movie with Will Smith. Um, obviously it's two very different things. This is more of like a vampire, vampire-ish type thing where in the movie they're kind of like zombies. Um, I, I don't know. I just didn't enjoy the story as much. Same thing with The House at the Bottom of a Lake. Maybe if I do a re- I, I, any of these really. Maybe if I reread them, maybe it'll be a little different the next time around. But on the initial read, I Am Legend just... It didn't work for me. So there you have I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. All right, next up is an author that I talk about fairly often because she normally is very phenomenal for me. Um, and this one just, it didn't work. The Bird Eater by Anya Alborn. Uh, I just couldn't get into the story. It, it, it was just so weird. And I honestly just didn't like any of it. Like, there are parts where they're talking in one perspective, and then you jump to that same person, like, in the future, and he's, like, some douchier kind of guy, and then you jump back to the past, which time jumps don't always work for me. Um, sometimes they do, but most of the time they really don't seem to work. And there's a couple, like, like the beginning he's young, and then he's older, and then he goes back to being young, and then he's older again. I, I just really didn't get into the story. I, I don't know. It just didn't work. So there you have The Bird Eater by Anya Elborn. All right, so the last one I'm going to talk about is one that a lot of people were raving about at the time. A lot of people were reading it, enjoying the heck out of it, and I figured 
Let me hop on that bandwagon. Camp Slaughter by Sergio Gomez. This book was painful. Uh, the cannibal character himself was... He was like a... It wasn't even like a grown adult, I think. It was like a... It was like... To the point where I don't remember the whole entire entirety of like each character. Um, it wasn't that long of a book either. The, I'm pretty sure the cannibal was probably in his 20s. I honestly don't remember. He just kind of seemed too childish. And the kids that are going to this camp are all stupid. They're dumb. They're kind of asking to pretty much get murdered. And it just... It, it didn't work. And then a random two adults just show up three quarters of the way through the book. And it, I just didn't like this book. And if you did, I'm sorry that we were disagreeing on this book. I really just didn't get into it. I didn't enjoy it. So there you have Camp Slaughter by Sergio Gomez. All right, guys. So these are my least favorite horror novels that I've read thus far. Uh, again, like I said, there's a couple other ones that could have been on here. But since I DNF them, they're not on the list. Uh, a couple of these I do really want to reread. I know I Am Legend I want to take another crack at, and The Haunting of Hill House I want to take another crack at eventually. Um, just because I know that they're so popular, and I just need to give them another chance. Um, but yeah, no, these are my least favorite. Let me know in the comments what your least favorite horror novels are down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode of Zocktober. Later. Mm. Ha <laughs> ha